What did we just watch today? What did we just watch between Inter and Juventus? What a fantastic derby d'Italia. 4-4. Craziness all around. Now, I'm a Milan fan. I don't care about Juventus. I don't care about Inter. I hope they lose all their points from now till the end of the season. I'm telling you now, it won't happen, but that's what I wish. Um, but as a fan of soccer in Serie A, what an entertaining game today. Um, lots of back and forth. Very offensive defensively. The defense today went out the window. Like very early, Inter scores early. Juventus comes back, scores two goals. They take the lead 2-1. And then Inter comes back and scores two goals of their own, leading 3-2 at a halftime. Five goals in the first half alone. Something we usually never see in Serie A or very, very, very rarely. And so uh, up 3-2 at the end of the first half. Second half comes in. Guys, Inter takes the lead 4-2. They scored the fourth goal. And at that point, I'm thinking to myself, this game, it's over. Juventus won't have the courage or the energy to come back and score two goals. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Mata puts in Yildiz at the 70th minute. He was um, put on the bench for the start of the game. They want more out of him. They don't like the way he's been playing. Only a goal in his first eight games. They expect a lot more from this young kid. And today, he delivers. The number 10, the young number 10 from Juventus, Scores two very important goals, making Juventus bring home a very hard-earned point. Like between Inter and Juventus, I'm sure both teams won't be happy with this draw. Uh, they lost some points. I'm sure if they both look at this game, Inter is going to be saying we had the lead, we lost it. They had the lead twice. They lost the lead twice. Juventus thinking to themselves, you know what? We came back. We had the lead. We lost the lead. We came back. Like, it was a very, very entertaining game. They might be disappointed with the result. But for everybody in Serie A, everybody else is very happy. Napoli is very happy. Milan is very happy, especially that their game got postponed yesterday. Uh, it could have been worse if either team would have won. It's only a point. I'm sure, psychologically, it's going to help. But um, what a great performance. And I got to be honest, the uh, penalty shots uh, for Kalulu and Danilo, me, personally, I thought they were there. So uh, the right calls uh, for Inter, but everything else. And then there was a, the Tutoram story in there as well. Uh, Marcus on one side, Kim Frey on the other one. Of course, the uh, Kim Frey Turam comes in a bit later in the second half. But still, what a great game with so many little stories in the uh, big story. So um, very entertaining. And after the 4-4, Lotaro gets a chance. He could have scored the 5-4 for Inter. Would have been simply incredible, but he doesn't hit the net. But uh, what, what a story. What a beautiful game today. Beautiful window to Serie A. If you're just a soccer fan, today was the game to enjoy uh, Serie A. Uh, it's usually criticized as being too defensive, too uh, tactically uh, minded. Not today. Today was all out of offense. Forget the defense. Forget everything else. And it was beautiful to watch. Let me know what you think. Write the comments. Hopefully, Fiorentina Roma can be just as good. But uh, entertaining, entertaining game, guys. Have a great soccer day.